Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A delayed credit is useful when a customer calls and says they are going to return a purchase in the near future. Unlike credit memos, which are immediately posted within the system to affect a customer's balance, delayed credits are not posted until they are applied to an invoice. Delayed credits can later be added to the customer's next invoice to then be applied to a customer's balance. To create a delayed credit, click the Create icon and then select Delayed Credit under the customer's heading. This will open the Delayed Credit menu. Your first option is to choose a customer from the Customer drop-down list. You can select a customer from the list or click the Add New option to add a new customer. Next is a Delayed Credit Date field that will be pre-populated with the current date or you can select a date. The Split Line list is where you will enter the information pertaining to the items that the customer may be returning. Utilizing the Add Lines and Clear All Lines buttons allows you to add more lines and clear existing lines, respectively. The Products and Services list is followed by a Memo text box. This allows you to add a note to the delayed credit. Following the Memo box is an Attachment section where you can attach a file or files up to 25 megabytes. The final options along the bottom of the page are Cancel, Clear, Make Recurring, and a drop-down box to Save and New or Save and Close. Clicking the Make Recurring button will open the Recurring Delayed Credit menu that will allow you to set dates and a time period for a recurring delayed credit. Most of the time, you would not need to create a recurring delayed credit. After you've completed all of your entries, simply click the Save and New or Save and Close buttons to save the data and create a new delayed credit or save the data and close the menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.